Sustainability is when we don't overtax any system and it can continuously replenish itself, whether it's our bodies, whether it's our economic system, whether it's our communities and whether it's with nature. Sustainability is having my own experience in connection and relationship with all beings. Sustainability is about resilience. How do we create resilient human beings? resilient communities? How do we create resilient agriculture, resilient economies? Sustainability is an appreciation for what we have at this present moment. We take and we take and we trash and whether it's our to-go cup for our coffee in the morning or if it's on the larger scale where millions of acres have lost their pine trees we have wildfires all over. We've always had them. We have much more now. I think the sustainability has to come through meditation that one can get in tune with this earth, with this water, with this moon, with this sun. Then it all makes sense. Slowing down is the very first step. I mean, if we can't talk sustainability unless we talk about love and connection, and you talk, can't talk about love and connection unless we talk about the pace that we're living our life at. I started a quiet time caucus in, in Congress where for a half hour at the beginning of every week while we're in D.C. we go to the Capitol Dome. You can do different kinds of meditation but you can't talk. It's a half hour of quiet time. If you're going to um, build a business or if you're going to go out and have a career or this is my passion and I want to go out there and do my passion in the world, that it is sustainable, that it is not losing money, that it is not um, having an adverse effect on your life or your family or the people that are around you. There are certain non-negotiables in my life for sustainability and that's my yoga practice, meditation, prayer and diet and uh, therapy. Those are the things that are necessary so they can show up in a world in a way that's more meaningful. But sustainability is really an opportunity. We can use the uh, reminder of turning off our lights or trying to bike or walk or take the bus instead of driving all the time to be a reminder to slow down and appreciate life and our family and our friends. What am I going to do over the long term and what legacy am I leaving for my children and my children's children? Change can happen in a very short amount of time with intention, with awareness and with acknowledgement.